Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve a case study based question from Arithmetic Progressions chapter. Now, this question has three sub questions. The first one is for one mark, the second sub question is for one mark, and the third one is for two marks, and it has an or question as well. That is, either you can attempt the first one or the second one. So, let us start with the first question now. A school has decided to plant some endangered trees on 51st World Environment Day in the nearest park. They have decided to plant those trees in few concentric circular rows such that each succeeding row has 20 more trees than the previous one. The first circular row has 50 trees. Based on the above given information, answer the following questions. The first question is, how many trees will be planted in the 10th row? Now, let us begin by understanding the question first. Now, a school has decided to plant few trees on World Environment Day and they have decided to plant the trees in a particular pattern. So, here they have chosen the concentric circular pattern. That is, in the first circular row, there are going to be 50 trees that are going to be planted and the succeeding rows will have 20 more trees than the previous row. That means, in the next row, there are going to be 20 more trees. That is 50 plus 20, that is 70. In the third row, it is going to be 70 plus 20, that is 90, and so on. Now, the question is, we need to find out how many trees will be planted in the 10th row. So, here, let us first write down the sequence generated, starting with 50 trees, then 20 more trees added to the second row. So, 70, 90, 110, and so on. Once we have generated the sequence, let us write down the first term of the sequence, the common difference, and so on. So, here the first term of the sequence is 50. D represents the common difference. So, the second term minus the first term, that is 70 minus 50 gives us 20. And since we have to find out the number of trees planted in the 10th row, N represents 10. Now, here we are going to make use of nth term of an AP formula, which is A N is equal to A1 plus N minus 1 times D, where A N represents the number of trees to be planted in the 10th row. A1 is the first term of the sequence, N represents the nth row and D represents the common difference. Now in the next step, it is just substitution of the values. So in place of N, we have written 10. So A10 is equal to A1 is 50 plus N is 10. So 10 minus 1 times common difference is 20. Now let us simplify this further. So 50 remains as it is. 10 minus 1 is 9 times 20. Now, the next step is 50 plus 9 times 20 gives us 180. So, A10 will be 50 plus 180, which is going to be 230 trees. So, on the 10th row, we are going to plant 230 trees. So, we have written here, number of trees planted in the 10th row are 230. Now, let us move on to the second sub-question. How many more trees will be planted in the 8th row than in the 5th row? So, here we need to check how many more trees have been planted in the 8th row as compared to the 5th row. So, let us consider the sequence again. So, the sequence was 50, 70, 90 and 110. Now, to solve this question, I am going to make use of two methods. Method 1 is just extend the sequence till the 8th row. So, here the first row is 50, second row is 70, third row is 90 and so on till the 8th row. The 8th row is going to have 190 trees. That is, you are adding 20 trees successively for each row. Now, once you have got this, just take the number of trees which are planted in the 5th row. So, 130 trees are planted in the 5th row and 190 trees are planted in the 8th row. Now, just take the difference between these two. So, we have written here, on the 8th row, we have 190 trees. On the 5th row, we have 130 trees. So, their difference is going to give us 60 more trees are being planted in the 8th row as compared to the 5th row. So, this is method 1. Just simply extending the sequence and getting the difference. Now, if they ask you, for example, the difference between the 100th row and 85th row. Now, you cannot sit extending the sequence as it is very time consuming. So, we have a shortcut method for that. So, that is going to be our method 2, which is here in the method 2, take the common difference, which is 20. Take the value of the rows asked, that is n is equal to 5 and n is equal to 8. Now, just take the difference between the rows, which are mentioned. So, 8 minus 5 and multiply it with the common difference. So, 8 minus 5 is 3 and 3 times 20 gives you 60 trees. So, if 100th row is asked and 85th row is asked, then you are going to do it as 100 minus 85 
and then you are going to multiply it with the common difference. That will directly give you the answer. So for shorter sequences, you can use the method 1 and for longer sequences, you can use method 2. Now let us move on to the next sub question. If 3200 trees are to be planted in the park, then how many rows are required? Now here we have the total number of trees with us that is 3200. Now we have to find out how many rows we require. So here basically they have asked us to find out n given Sn that is the total number of trees. So let us consider the sequence again first. So here the sequence was 50, 70, 90, 110 and so on. First term of the sequence is 50, common difference is 20. Sn that is the total number of trees is 3200. We have to find out the number of rows so it is going to be our n. Since total number of trees are given, we are going to make use of sum of first n terms of an AP formula. It is given as Sn is equal to n over 2 times 2a1 plus n minus 1 times d. Now let us substitute the values over here. So here substituting the values in place of Sn we have written 3200 is equal to n over 2 times 2 times a1 is 50 plus n minus 1 times common difference is 20. Now let us take 2 on the other side of the equal to sign. So it multiplies with 3200 giving us 6400 is equal to n times. Now 2 times 50 gives us 100. Now let us expand this bracket that is 20 multiplies with n giving us 20n and 20 multiplies with negative 1 giving us negative 20. Now let us next simplify this bracket. So here on the left hand side we have 6400 equal to n times 100 minus 20 gives us 80 plus 20n. Now expanding this bracket, we get 6400 is equal to, now n multiplies with 80 giving us 80n and n multiplies with plus 20n giving us plus 20n square. Now this equation can be simplified because we can see that the left hand side term and the right hand side terms are easily divisible by 20. So I am dividing each term by 20. So here 6400 divided by 20, 80 over 20 and 20 over 20. So this equation simplifies as 320 is equal to 4n plus n square. It is always better to simplify the equation. It will be easier to get the factors. Now once we have got this equation, let us rearrange it. So n square plus 4n and plus 320 we are taking on the right hand side. So we get it as minus 320 equal to 0. Now we are going to factorize this equation. We have to find out the factors of minus 320 which when added or subtracted together gives us plus 4 and when multiplied together gives us minus 320. So the factors we are going to use here is plus 20 and minus 16. Because when you multiply these two you get minus 320 and when you add these two you get plus 4n. So we have split the middle term over here. So n square plus 20n minus 16n minus 320 equal to 0. Now let us group the terms. We are grouping them into two terms that is first two terms together as group 1 and the next two terms together as group 2. Now in the first group n is a common term so we have taken it outside the bracket and in the bracket remains n plus 20. Now from the second group minus 16 is a common factor so we have taken it out and inside the bracket remains n plus 20 equal to 0. Now we get two factors that is n plus 20 is one of the factors and n minus 16 is the second factor. So these both factors will be equal to 0. Now let us equate each factor equal to 0. So we have written here n plus 20 equal to 0 and n minus 16 equal to 0 or n will be equal to minus 20 taking this on the other side of equal to sign and n will be equal to 16. Now n represents the number of rows. It cannot be negative. So we have to discard n equal to minus 20 and the number of rows we require to plant 3200 trees are 16 rows. So here we have written total number of rows needed to plant 3200 trees are 16. Now let us move on to the next sub question. Now moving on to the OR question. If 3200 trees are to be planted in the park, then how many trees are still left to be planted after the 11th row? So let us try to understand this question by writing an equation. So here there are total 3200 trees that are to be planted. We need to find out how many trees are remaining to be planted after the 11th row. So here we have generated an equation to find out the number of trees left out. 
So here we have written total number of trees left to be planted will be equal to total number of trees that are to be planted that is 3200 minus total number of trees already planted till the 11th row that is S11. So basically we have to find out here S11. So here we are going to make use of the formula sum of first n terms of an AP that is Sn is equal to n over 2 2a1 plus n minus 1 times d. Now here since we need to find out S11, n is going to be 11 and here we are going to substitute n as 11, 11 over 2 times 2 times a1 that is first term of the sequence was 50 plus 11 minus 1 times common difference is 20. Now here we are going to simplify this bracket. So here in the next step we have written 11 over 2 times 2 times 50 is 100 plus 11 minus 1 is 10 times 20. Further simplifying the bracket, we get 11 over 2 times 100 plus 10 times 20 gives us 200. So here we get 11 over 2 times 100 plus 200 gives us 300 or 2 divides 300 that is 2 1 times is 2 and 2 150 times is 300. So here we get S11 as 11 times 150 or 1650. Now we have got the value of S11 which means 1650 trees have been planted till the 11th row. So to find out the remaining trees which need to be planted, we are going to subtract these number of trees from the total number of trees. So total number of trees left to be planted are 3200 minus S11 which is 1650. So this will give us 1550 trees. So these many number of trees are still left to be planted. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. And if you found this video useful, then you can check out these videos where you'll find similar examples. And if you're liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.